players coming out of the tunnel now. Way to left hand side, Ben Toza leading Wrexham out. Still goalless. Both sides still really probing, testing each other out. But there's an opportunity for Mansfield. Shoot from distance. Good low save by Okonkwo. The deflection was awkward. Yes, a really strong save by Arthur Okonkwo. Elliot Lee losing possession of the ball there. And the shot was zipping across him. I think it hit Okonkwo twice on the way out of play. But it was a save he had to make and he did. Reed over to the right. Mansfield patient again, switching possession from left to right. Bowery. Davis Keeler don't come short for him. Back to Bowery. Now the short options. Maris. Aikens lays it off to Clark. Thor about a shot instead. He drills it to the left hand side to McDonald. McDonald's cross cross six shot box. Keeler done header. That was a huge opportunity for Mansfield. Straight after a conquo. And they've got to do better there, really, haven't they? A brilliant ball into the area. Just looking to get a feel of each other. Carve out some opportunities. As Aikens plays a good ball through the gap to Keeler Dunn. Shoots. Waving it to the post. From nowhere, Davis Keeler Dunn showing the danger he possesses. It hit the far post, it bounced clear. Clint and Cargill exchange passes at the back and advance into the Wrexham half. Low ball forward, and that allows for the pass to be turned into McDonald's path on the left hand side. Cross the cross penalty area, that's shot over. Aaron Lewis arrived late. I thought it was a poor cross initially, but actually, I think he'd spotted that pass. Mansfield and Wrexham have both advanced deep into the penalty area, allowed the space for that low ball to be played in. Lewis is shot well over the bar map. You're watching live on I Follow Wrexham. Broadcasting all over the world on this Tuesday night. Now Clark shoots. It serves away from Oconquo. And he's got just enough of a touch on it. Brilliant I think, save. I think that's a great save from Oconquo. We've got a perfect view from the press box over the top of that. You could see the ball slightly moving away. James McLean to deliver the free kick then from the left hand side. Got midway inside that Mansfield half almost level with the penalty area lifted in Oli Palmer's header is just wide of the far post not far away from Oli Palmer there at all another good ball from James McLean and Oli Palmer does really well because it's slightly going away from him to flick it on towards goal also being broadcast all over the world from the one call stadium Mansfield it's currently goalless as Mansfield looked to change that with a probing through ball to Gale. Gale on his right foot, hits it across. And Arthur Conquo is there to turn it behind. A simple save for Arthur, but again, so positive for him. Being that wall in between the sticks for Wrexham. Both ends inside to Keeler Dunn from the Mansfield left. Keeler Dunn deep again, turns away from Evans, then turns back forwards again. Spins in a little circle, still hasn't really gained any yards. Now he does drive at the Wrexham defence. Gets away from Mendy, hits it, curling shot just wide. I think Arthur Conco had it covered. It looked like he had it covered. A little bit cooler than both me and you sat up here, that's for sure. But it's what Kayla Dunn has done all evening. There is the full-time whistle. Phil Parkinson said it himself before now. If you can't win a game, do not lose it. Do not concede a goal. Well, Wrexham have done that today. And for all the criticism of their defence this season, it's been a very solid defensive performance and a good away point to see against a team yet to lose this season.